Hello everyone, Argon Matrix here, and it's a beautiful day up on the moon in Majora's Mask. So I decided, why not pick now? Just record the second and last bonus episode that I want to do for Majora's Mask. And in case you couldn't figure it out, I'm going to be fighting Majora with the Fierce Deities Mask right now. Because I, I haven't actually shown that yet, and I promised I would like months ago in my first bonus video. So now I think I'm actually going to do it. Will you play? With me? Sure. Let's do it. You only have weak masks? What? Oh, but you gave me, like, the strongest mask ever. That was... <laughs> Whatever. Oh, yeah, you're about to see just how, like, amazingly cheap this Fierce Deities mask is with... <laughs> against Majora. It's just, like, insane. Like, I think out of all the bosses in the game, this one is the one that it makes the most difference on when you fight him. Yeah. Oh. And I know you're probably looking down at the length of this video right now, and you're probably like, well, how's it going to take you that long to fight Majora with the Fierce Deeds and Mask? Well, that's actually not all we're going to be doing in this video. And I'll explain more when, I, when I'm done with this. But for now, let's just get into this fight with Majora here. Yup. So basically, <laughs> this is really easy right here. All you have to do is spam these, like, electrical shots here. And Majora will go down in no time. Look, he's already, he's already calling those little cronies here. What the hell, man? Yeah, okay. Uh, where's Majora? Dude, I can't find him. Oh, you know how long it's been since I played this game? It's actually been quite a while. I think the last time I played it was my first bonus episode, which was forever ago. <laughs> Look at that. That's already the first form of Majora down already. Yeah, and I was going to sprout his legs here, his crazy legs, his crazy veiny legs. Oh my god, his arms look like they have eyes. It looked like that for a second there. Maybe that was just me. I don't know. Oh crap, oh my god, okay. Well, <laughs> yeah, this guy's probably the hardest form. Well, <laughs> actually, no, he's not. He's actually pretty much pretty easy. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, zooms in on my sword hilt there. That was cool. Yeah, see, this is just absolutely ridiculously simple here. To do this with the Fierce Deeds mask. It's practically as easy as Goma. Or Bongo Bongo with the big orange sword. Remember how fast I took him down there? Ow! What hit me there? That was probably one of his crony- Oh, whoa! <laughs> that was silly. He did that attack with the Fierce Deity, just wrapped around my legs instead of my whole body. That was funny. But that's Majora with the Fierce Deity mask. That's very, very easy. So, that's that. And that should be the end of this video, but I want to try something kind of unique here. So, I'm going to go ahead and cut to that because I'm going to need to go through a bunch of stuff to get there. See you in a second. You know, I think I might actually show this scene again, because it's a little bit different here. Plus, the pure majesty is just... It's so great that it deserves to be shown a second time. Sis! Tile! Oh, I haven't done those fairy voices in forever. Good lord. Swamp, mountain, ocean, canyon. Hurt the four over there. Bring them here. I don't know if I should be voicing this or not. Don't speak it of line, stupid fairy! That's it. I won't let things go the way you expect them to. Well, whatever. Even if they were to come now, they wouldn't be able to handle me. <laughs> just look above you. If it's something that can be stopped, then just try to stop it. Praise the moon. Oh yeah, baby, it's happening.
Maybe I should be talking. I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to ruin the scene, though. I don't know what to say. Man, this gets to me every time. He's so forlorn. Look at him. Man. Oh. I think I just fell in love with this game all over again. Just from this one recording here. <laughs> I sound like such an emotional jackass right now. Whoa, his eyes are closed. Oh my god. Is that always like that? That guy's eyes were closed. That was scary. And the moon's looking out. Is that all? The scene is so much different than I remember it. It stopped. So epic. Sis! Tail! Well, now you should be awake. Stand up! Wait, sis. The Skull Kid. Don't blame him. Yeah, yeah, I know, the Skull Kid was lonely because nobody would be his friend, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> yeah, emotional torment, blah, blah, blah. And the power of the mask made him do it because it was too much for him to handle. How, how did you know that, sis? Well, I'm Merlin. Certainly, he had far too many weaknesses to use my power. A puppet that can no longer be used as mere garbage. This puppet's role has just ended. They don't do the epic, the epic camera zoom there. The camp, the, that moon? I shall om nom, om nom, om nom everything. Don't worry, just leave it to your sister. Well, you're going in, aren't you? Damn right! We can't do anything down here. Let's go! I've been thinking this ever since I joined you. You never want to give up. You always want to try. I admire you. That's sweet. Kind of sweet. It's coming from Tails. Kind of weird. Anyways, um, <laughs> I don't know how much of that scene I'm going to show, if any. But yeah, we're back on the moon now, and we're going to fight Majora again, but with a little bit of a strange kind of twist this time. Something that I haven't seen anyone else do. As far as I know, like I'm the first person on YouTube to show like how to do this. Basically, I'm going to fight Majora without the Fierce Deities Mask and without using the bow or anything. Without using any kind of like tricks, because normally you'd use the light arrows and stuff to fight him. But there are different strategies that you can use against him. Ah, uh, first off, I'm going to actually need the Zora mask. Actually, I'm just going to set these three masks, because that's pretty much all I'm going to need for this. Yep, so let's launch ourselves right into the fight here. And I'll show you how we roll. Oh, no pun intended. I thought that you might think it was a pun, because I was going to be a Goron in this fight, and I'm going to roll. But, <laughs> whatever, man. Swirly masks. Swirly. Here's the big guy himself, Majora Z mask. Okay, so there are actually two different ways you can fight this guy with like like without arrows or fierce deed or whatever. And neither of them are really useful or really that good. The first one is you can become a Zora, and you can actually use your little like boomerang thing here. To try and hit him in the back. You kind of want to wait for him to sit still a little bit. Hold still and let me shoot you. Oh, okay. Yeah, so wait for him to stop this. 
Oh my god. Do you want to stop anytime soon, Majora? Please? I've had enough of your lawnmower attack here. <laughs> what is this, like, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids? You're trying to, like, kill the kids with a lawnmower or something? Alright, so you use the boomerang, and it should hit him from behind. Hit him from behind here. Yeah, I don't honestly know how long this is going to take. Yeah, and then you can do that and just come up and punch him like this. Do your karate Zora stuff. Zoa Kung Fu. Yeah, it, this is actually probably like the easier way to fight him without arrows or stuff. But there is one other way, and that actually involves being a Deku. I know, being a Deku is kind of weird. Yeah, but you want to be careful in this form too, because if he hits you with his laser attack, then he will kill you, basically. But there's these flowers in the ground scattered around here. And if you actually, like when he goes down and does his lawnmower attack, like uh, that right there, if you wait for him to come over you, you can actually launch up into him. And I think I did it there, yeah. And then you can actually head over to, oh, he got up. If, you, if you're if you fast enough, then you can actually head over and hit him. That's a really like hard strategy to pull off though, and I don't really like it because if he hits you once with your lasers, then you have to restart with his lasers, I mean, then you have to restart the battle. So I'd recommend going the Zora route. Actually, I think the Zora, if he, if he hits you with his lasers, then you have to restart too, which doesn't make any sense to me, but... I don't know. Alright, ow! Thanks for that. Yeah, it's still probably best to like use your mirror shield and deflect Majora's laser at these guys. That's probably the best way to kill them. You can try and use the boomerangs if you really want to. I think I will try a bit, actually. Oh, I guess that is pretty easy to hit him with. Okay, so they take three boomerang hits, it looks like, and then they'll go down. And they're actually pretty easy to hit, because they don't really do much. So I think I'm going to go ahead and head and try and take out these guys before I concentrate Majora again. Oh, crap! Oh, no! Oh, my God. See, that's what I mean. That's what I mean. If you get hit with those lasers as as a Zora or as a Deku, then you have to restart this battle. And that's really, really annoying. Especially since I'm recording, so this... <laughs> I don't know, longer I take on this, the longer it's going to take to render and upload and all that. And all that jazz. Alright, oh yeah, I hit him there. That was a lucky shot. Come on, come on, dude. <laughs> oh, I had him there. Let's see here. Yeah. I don't know why I decided to record this right now. <laughs> I kind of, I'm kind of just in the Majora's Mask mood, to be honest with you. There is a certain mood that you have to be in to play Majora's Mask, or at least record it anyways. Probably got into this mood because I was actually just going back and watching some of uh, NCS's Majora's Mask LP. Which is probably one of the best LPs you're going to find on YouTube, to be honest with you. It's way better than mine, I can tell you that much. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if I want to show all this again or just cut back up to the point where, like, the other masks come out. Because that seems like it would be a pretty good point to cut up to. Though I seem to be hitting him rather frequently here. Yeah, that is another strategy you can use, I guess. I kind of just learned this now. Like, like, just hit him right as he's coming back up. And you should be able to... He shouldn't be able to do much of anything. Though this cutscene might interrupt that process. Or maybe not. There we go, yeah. Okay, hit him. Thank you. Yeah, the problem is that you can't actually punch him until, like, your boomerangs come back to you. So, it can be kind of annoying. A little bit annoying in that sense. But it looks like we're going to get him here. Fi at l not at last. We haven't been fighting for too long here. And trust me, this is probably the easiest of the two of the three forms that you're going to be seeing. I didn't even have to punch him there. Like, the second boomerang actually hit him and did the damage for me. Nice little time saver there. No, I don't want to buy a timeshare. <laughs> All I did was sign my name. But you signed that name and that bought us this room. I didn't mean to. This wouldn't have happened in the first place if you hadn't asked me to be to be mom. <laughs> I didn't have a choice. Your mother was allergic to the plumella. Okay, <laughs> that's enough of that. 
All right, now we have to deal with the Majora's Incarnation, so you're going to have to modify your strategy a bit here. But the good thing about this is that you don't have to worry about those lasers and their one-hit kill anymore. Or their, like, restart battle hit, I guess. All right, the trick for this one... Oh, actually, it's something I could probably show off, too, is that if you actually target Majora and get tattled to say stuff... <laughs> doing the can-can. All right, remember your battles. When you saw things that... When you fought things that ran around, didn't you battle them using your own body? Yeah, there's actually, like, she... Tattle will tell you certain strategies, or like, hint at certain strategies. And they're basically the same strategies they used for the other bosses, with the ex exception of Georg, I think. Or you know what, I want to deal with these guys first. Yeah, but basically, like, um... It's what- no, don't become this guy. It's basically like, you fight them kind of in a reverse order. I don't, I don't know how to say that without it being really awkward. Like, you fight the three forms of Majora the same way you'd fight the other bosses, but in the reverse order. So, like, um... So it's like Majora's Mask, that you would fight that the same way you fight uh, Twin Mole, kind of. Waiting to, waiting for it to, uh, waiting to have a shot at its vulnerable spot, I guess. Then this guy, you would fight, like, Gott, because you actually... Like, it skips Georg in the line of the bosses in the reverse order. It's <laughs> this doesn't make any sense at all. It's just, I'm just being totally stupid about this. Yeah, but then you would fight this guy like you would fight Gott, which is, as a Goron, you would try to roll around and hit him, which is what we're gonna end up doing in a little bit here. And then I guess they intend, like, for you to fight Majora's Wrath as Odawa, or as he were Odawa. And that's how you do that. Okay, that's all the masks, I think, or, like, the other masks. Why do I keep putting on the Deku? mask. Don't know, man. I need to be a gore on here, so. Alright, so what you need to do, you need to actually build up your speed here and kind of just like roam around and wait and try to hit him like that. Okay. And then once once you've done that, get your punches in. You know, power the punch. Yeah, this one, this strategy can actually be, it's kind of hard to pull off if you get unlucky, you're going to run out of magic, too, because you might go around for too long and expend your magic meter. But even if you do run out of magic, you're not totally screwed. You can still kind of use the strategy a little bit. All right. Oh, yeah, look at this. We're getting some good hits here. Yeah! Feel that damage, Majora. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> don't fire your multicolored rainbow balls at me. All right, where'd you go? I don't see you anywhere. Did I just get up there mid-roll? That was weird. Or yes, okay. Rolling over. And punch! Feel the power of my mighty Gorob up uppercut. Right, let's roll around and see if we can hit him from behind. Oh, no! I, I was trying to be the incom incoming enemy from your rear. You had to drop altitude. Yeah, I think that attack's probably the most devastating as a Goron to you, so... Try to avoid that. Alright, there we go. And punch! This guy actually does take quite a bit of damage. Or, like, he doesn't... He doesn't take quite a bit of damage from these punches. He... But it's gonna take a lot of punches to deal all the damage, is what I mean. Yeah, sometimes, like you saw just there, you can get lucky, and he might not move too far after you, after you do damage to him. And you can just punch him instead of have, having to roll after him. And that's actually kind of the strategy that you would use if you ran out of magic, hypothetically. There, are, There is some magic in these pots on the side, though, so that's kind of useful. Alright, get him! Oh, crap, I just missed him. Just missed him by the hair of his butt. By his butt fibers. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, and right in the crotch, man. Right in the crotch. This guy doesn't have much of a crotch to speak of, though. I'm gonna just roll away from this. Right, where'd he go? Where'd he go? I mean, it's not its not surprising that you can lose track of this guy pretty easily, because he runs so fast, and he moonwalks pretty fast, too. Alright, punch him! Come on, there we go! And that's Majora's Incarnation, which can be really troublesome, especially if you run out of magic. I didn't there, thankfully, so that's good. Now, Majora's Wrath. <laughs> this is gonna be really... 
this is where the ultimate challenge of this, like, self-imposed challenge is gonna come to play.